What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Mike Rashid. I'm Francine Slobodnik. Bottom the tank. You got like that, huh? Not as much as <laughs> Now we're doing a QA. We're doing a few of them. And um, Francine came across a very good question that was asked to all three of us. You want to lead off with this one? Yes. So we had somebody asking us. Who inspired and motivated us from our past and or present? So for me, it was, um, or is still now, my mom. My mom is definitely a big supporter and motivator and inspires me a lot. Um, she's a first generation, oh wait, I messed up. Sorry, you're starting. Okay, okay. Uh, she's a, I'm a first generation um, Polish American here. So watching her start from the bottom up and, you know, make it in this country and live the American dream really motivates me and pushes me and she inspires me. Um, and she forever will. She's, she's awesome. She really, she really is. That's cool. Mm -hmm. What about you, Frank? <clears throat> um, is it Dog the Bounty Hunter? <laughs> what actually inspires me which motivates me is more not so much an individual but just um the fact that being average scares me um one of the things that i i vowed that i would make sure i reach my full my fullest potential before i leave this earth um not reaching my fullest potential and and just being average I mean, it, it, it scares the mess out of me. There's so many people who, um, you know, lose their life at an early age and then reach their fullest potential or, <clears throat> you know, uh, get uh, abilities took away from, you know, can't walk or, or, or you know, some crazy um, that happens to them where they can't pursue their dreams anymore. And, um, you know, the one thing that people always say they wish they had back, you know, um, it, it's their health and they wish they would have pursued their dreams to 100%. So that that pretty much motivates me of not reaching my fullest potential and leaving this earth with regret. Uh, what motivates me? My father. You know, my father was the first person who he sparked my grandmother, my grandparents really, and my father. They sparked a, a light in me at an early age. That a, a light that turned into a fire, that's turned into a volcano, that just will not go down. So my father put me on a path of like greatness. Honestly, I was 12 years old, getting up at 5:30 to head to the park to run, <laughs> six in the morning, every morning at 12. Started at 12, you know, um, you know. My father always had me doing things that, you know, I was a boxer at a young age. And he had me doing, he had me jogging in like heavy construction boots. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, he always, his thing was, you need to be doing things that your opponent isn't doing. And that's just in life. Like, you could look at life however you want to look at it. It could be competition. It could be, some people say life is a big stage, it's like a play. But a lot of things in my life is a competition, you know. I'm in competition with myself. I'm in competition with other business owners. You know, I'm always trying to be that that alpha guy. You know, I've always said, like, I want to be, at any given time, the strongest person in the gym. If I'm not the strongest, it's one of the top three. And usually they probably get me, you know what I mean? Or just, you know, I walk into a new gym. This other day, I walk into a new gym. I have my objective to do in the gym. But I started looking around, I like some big cats in here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna squat to let them know I'm here. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's kind of like a dog pissing the market of territory. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I, I just have a very high level of competitiveness inside of me. That's, you know, that's my motivation. I don't, do I think it's a bad thing? No, because it's not a bad thing. It, my competitive nature, it helps me push people around me and it makes me push myself to be better. I'm never comfortable, I'm never complacent. I'm always trying to do better, trying to do more. It's my dad's fault, 
because he, he put that in me at an early age. But I like it. I appreciate it. It keeps it keeps my life interesting. You know what I mean? Um, it keeps me on a progressive path. I'm always trying to be stronger, be smarter, be wiser, be better. You know. So my motive. That's my motivation is to be that ultimate human. You know what I mean? And you know, when my my boys looking at me like. You know, why is this legit as my dad? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yo, it hurt my feelings. One day I'm in the store, and this kid was looking at me like, wow. You know, and his dad was like, don't be rude. And he's like, he's stronger than you. I felt bad, I'm like, damn. But like, no, your dad is strong, he, he good. You know what I mean? He wasn't, but, you know, but it's like, <laughs> damn. I don't ever want my son saying no shit like that. You know what I mean? Want no level, you know what I mean? So I have a high, I have a high drive of excellence, you know, for myself and for people around me. So you know, that's I'm motivated. I'm self motivated by trying to be as, as amazing as possible. You know what I'm saying? If I'm in a relationship, I want to be. I know this is kind of fucked up. If I'm in a relationship with a girl. You know, things don't always last. But I wanna fuck it up for any other guy after me. Like, he can't compete. <laughs> yeah, so you always gotta think about me. You're the best you know thing that happened. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's, that's yeah. I don't know. I wanna be my friend's best friend. <clears throat> like my boy Mars back here. I got to do some, some Air Yeezys for Christmas. Like, who does that? $5,000 shoes. This is my boy, you know what I'm saying? I'm the best gift giver, you know? Maybe it's ego, or whatever is yielding cool things for people around me and for my life so as long as it makes you feel good that's it makes me matters. feel good it makes me feel good you know what i mean so um i got you know i got a lot of successful friends people with more than what i have we fight each other to pay the bill we go to eat mm -hmm. you know what i mean like that's just my life you know so um, i just always want to be that ultimate guy and a good guy you know i'm not trying to be an asshole I can be an asshole if you love me long. You don't want to see that side of me. But that's that's pretty much it. That's my motivation is to be amazing. To live up to my to the expectations that people have of me as well. The people do have some pretty high expectations of me, so I don't ever want to let nobody down. I don't want to let myself down. So yeah, so that's it. You know, we appreciate y'all for sending in such great questions, amazing questions. We'll keep knocking them down. Alright? Much love. Yeah.